Hello and welcome back to Talk of the Town. If you've ever been curious about infrared saunas, you're going to want to listen up because there's a lot in the media about how helpful these are. We're talking today a little bit about uh, Jen Rudis' wellness guide for first responders. Jen has been great with helping firefighters and first responders in the community and is the owner of Generate Wellness, and I'm so glad to have you today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm excited to chat with you a little bit about what you're doing, but first let's talk about what infrared heat is for viewers who might not be familiar. Okay, so infrared has actually been around for a long time. It's a light energy, similar to standing in the sun, but without dangerous UV rays. So the biggest difference between a traditional sauna and infrared is that basically the body recognizes as heat. The body, uh, the core temperature rises about two to three degrees. The idea is so that your body relaxes and detoxes from the inside out versus just uh, walking into a wall of air or uh, what we call hypersteam, traditional style sauna. This is so interesting to me because the more that I've learned from you in a little bit about how it's really different from a traditional mm -hmm. sauna, I mean, the more incredible the research and information is. So let's talk a little bit about that for folks who are familiar with the traditional sauna. Mm -hmm. What are the major differences? I think most people are familiar with the traditional saunas. Um, I'm from Rhinelander, so I'm from up north where land of out outdoor steam saunas are real popular. Um, but the, like I said, the biggest difference is you... Um, you step into the unit and it's heating, it's putting out a light energy that the body's going to recognize as heat. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes or so for that core temperature to rise up. It's more of a slow, gentle process. Um, I like to explain it in the sense of it's similar to a workout, but you're really not having to, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not really having to exert a whole lot of energy. So the nice thing too is you can control the temperature, the lights, the, the entire environment once you climb in. That sounds great. I love that. <clears throat> Similar to a workout, but yeah. you can relax. Yeah, burn about five to 600 calories. It's no really? joke. Yeah, hydration is really important. Uh, now, of course, I don't always promote it's the next best weight loss tool, sure. but it certainly does dig into our fat cells. The idea is to open up the fat cells, uh, kind of do a vibration to bring those toxins and things that are hiding, hanging out in our fat cells to, to the surface of the skin through sweating. So burning calories, um, detoxifying, feeling great. And those are the major benefits, right? <clears throat> so we're talking a lot about detox when it comes to the infrared. Yeah, both internally gets kind of the lymphatic system working, but again, it digs into the skin and muscle tissue. Um, also looking for arthritis, aches and pains, inflammation, uh, relaxes muscles. So talking about benefits, it's a wide range. It really, um, I work with folks with uh, Lyme's disease who are um, detoxifying through chemo treatments. Um, it can, cardiovascular heart health. Um, but in the weight loss as well, like I said, it uh, digs into that skin tissue to um, basically force, like self-induce a fever, but also sure. force like a workout. Wow, so incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to touch on the cardiovascular component that you yeah. mentioned. So in particular with the firefighters and first responders, um, <clears throat> excuse me, we know that their, their health and safety is definitely a number one priority. Um, cardiovascular health is definitely... Um, a hot point in, in the firefighter and first responder industry. And what we want to do is help them feel better. Um, there's a thing that we call heat down instead of cool down in the infrared community where you climb in, um, your gets the blood flow, gets the circulation going in a safe, gentle way. It also floods oxygen to the areas that need it. Um, so it's not an overwhelming experience. It's more of a gentle relaxation. Um, we know that that decompression and relaxation is really important for them um, before and after incidents. And so getting that heart kind of going, but in a safe, gentle way is really important. And even helping with PTSD, stress, anxiety, and depression is a possibility. Yeah. So that's not so much the infrared, although that does relax the muscles and does allow you to kind of de-stress and decompress. What's really working in that arena is on the ceiling of all of the saunas, there are chromotherapy lights. Uh, it's a medical grade panel of lights that basically helps restore light energy. Um, a lot of the times in the Midwest, we're not getting a lot of sun and light energy, and so it helps us kind of, our bodies resonate with color, so when you're not getting or seeing that color, we can kind of slip into that funk. Um, but part particularly in with PTSD and stress and anxiety, the colors can work different chakras of the body, and we can um, relate to those colors, and so it can help soothe and relax. There's, wow. There are certain colors that work sleep hormones, certain colors excuse me, that work, um, you know, uplifting, mood uplifting, um, stress, anxiety. It's, it's really quite incredible. 
So we have to go, but I want to make sure that we at least mention that there is a book that specifically focuses on the firefighter first responder community, which you've been so incredible in, in really you. supporting. Yeah, Train, Perform, Recover is a book. Um, it's a free book that I have on my website. I wrote this book uh, particular because I wanted to help this industry. Um, a few years ago, I partnered with the Firefighter Cancer Foundation. Um, it's an entire group of uh, first responders that really helped me understand the day-to-day -day operations of what they go through. So um, this book is just a really good, um, it's packed with nutritional tips and wellness information, but it really kind of explains what infrared heat is and how it can help the industry. And I saw what you did, Jen, for the firefighters and first responders in Sun Prairie. Yes. Um, really helpful, really, really <clears throat> great lady. Again, this is Jen yeah. Rudis with Generate Wellness. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching Talk of the Town. That's it for our show today. We'll see you here next time.